Hi and welcome back and this is the base we did in part one and now you can add subdivision surface let's check one or two and you can do right click and shade smooth let's not forget our screencast keys and let's talk about one more thing when you work with characters when you switch between different positions you don't want your uh, object distra uh, distorted so under view change focal length to, to something like a hundred it will be much better also we want to check our mesh so when you don't want to do sculpting you can select vertices and move them so let's select one and double G and slide them so you make your mesh more uniform you can also do proportional editing. So let's work on that and fix that. Make sure to check from different angles. We are going to make ears now. So go to three, face select, and let's check which ones okay uh, press X to delete faces now you want to select this loop and do E to extrude and S to scale and you want to rotate it to the side Let's select our top edge, press E to extrude and we want to scale, G to grab and move. And let's do that again. We're going to do E to extrude, move and position. Finish your ear. For the bottom part, you want to select these two edges and press F to fill. You want to select your front loop right now. And do E to extrude and S to scale. You want to repeat that, so we're going to extrude and scale again. And if you want to see better, you uncheck your subdivision surface. So now you want to make quads. So we want to extrude this vertex and we want to select four and make a face. Now you want to go to face selection, press 3. So we want to select this face, let's do extrude, scale, rotate and position it. If you need to adjust vertices, select one by one and move them. Now we want to finish our eyes, the hole there, so we want to select our loop around our eyes. So do E to extrude as to scale. We want this part a little bit inside, so grab this. Again we are extruding, scaling and positioning. The point here is setting up vertices in the right place, so just do grab and position. You need to uncheck your mirror modifier so you can see better. 
we want to extrude again as the scale rotate and you don't want this part to go outside of your mesh. So we're just grabbing and moving, extruding, making sure it's well positioned. You want to select the last loop and we want to fill this part. So we're going to extrude again and make quads. So extrude, select four and press F to fill. Always look for the easiest way to fill this. We can make a face again and check if you need to move this. So press G, grab and look from different angles. So now we're making all quads here. Basically all we're doing is checking our shape. So grab, move and adjust. So we're going to do the same thing for our mouth. We're going to make this inner part. If you need to position some vertices, again, just grab and move them. We want to select this loop. So again, E to extrude, as to scale, G to move, grab and move. We are going to extrude this part once again and scale it. And then we are going to fill this part. So we're going to fill this, but we're going to make a loop here because by the number of vertices, I can see that we are going to need once more, one more. So extruding, connecting four. As you can see, we are going to have all quads here. From time to time, you need to see if your face orientation is okay. So go and click face orientation and check if it's blue. That's okay, we need to uncheck it. And now we're going to do our eyelashes. We're going to go into edit mode and we're going to select one edge. So shift D to duplicate it, escape to snap it back into the place and P to separate selection. Now go back to the object mode and select this part. Now you want to go to one and extrude vertex by vertex. So again, we are going to follow our shape and make something that's going to be quads. Follow the shape. You can do select four and press F to fill. Again, just extruding and filling. Go from the top view and move them by depth. and continue doing this. When you're satisfied, you're going to select all and do E to extrude. Let's do shade smooth. And now we're going to do the same thing for our eyebrows. So we're going to duplicate one edge, separate selection and follow the shape to make eyebrows. Again, from different angles, move your vertices. When you're satisfied, make 
faces and extrude shade smooth and for our eyes we are going to again duplicate our edge separate selection and let's follow this shape We're going to do uh, loop tools so it's more symmetrical and then scale by X. Use proportional editing to move this for a more concave shape and rotate this. Extrude and shade smooth. Now we want to do Shift N and recalculate normals for the faces that are red. Okay, so let's finish this with hair. We're going to select edges and duplicate them. So P separate selection and from this part we are going to convert this to curve. So now we have curve here. We are going to move vertices and adjust the way we want. So something that's going to follow our shape. We're going to make another curve that's going to be circle and this is going to be shape of our hair. So this flat side is going to be inside. And we're going to select these two, add sub the Y to add more details. So now, selecting this curve, we can scale this. We can do Shade Smooth and now adjust it. Do Alt-S to scale just from one vertex. So duplicating, rotating, scaling and extruding. Duplicate this part and adjust. So just moving vertices one by one and repeating our process. It's going to be a learning curve, but this is easy way to do hair. You can see this part of our hair is flat because we are going to see that, but let's change our curve. So subdivide at the bottom and we're going to make some details at the bottom so you can see this part is not flat anymore. So play with this object. As you can see, this is your model now. Spend more time adjusting your hair so it looks better. So if you're not comfortable with doing hair with curves, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video how to do hair without curves. And about texturing, let's do another video how to texture this and make this your final character.